healing your body um, could be a great way to get out of the mind. And so satsang is saying we're not our body, we're not our mind, we're this perceiver of it all. Is that right? Um, first of all, I, I'd like to say that whatever comment I'm going to make now doesn't relate to whatever another teacher is teaching or whatever form of um, exploration are going on in other teachings, just speaking my own. So there is like the mind and the body. are two dimensions of our experience. The mind meaning thoughts, um, memories, mentation. They're very fleeting. So at one moment a uh, thought might say, oh, I am this, and next moment it says, oh, I like that, and next moment it says, oh, gee, it'd be nice to be in New York, and the moment after it says, oh, gee, why did, why did I do that last week and so on. It's it's very it's very fleeting. While the the body, meaning bodily sensations, are more uh, they have more stability or more permanence than than the mind. Like if you have a leg an ache in your leg, you know it, it, it it's there. Or if you're feeling a certain feeling of anxiety, it's there. Th thoughts about it might keep on flipping and changing, but the, the feeling, the bodily feeling, is more palpable, more stable, more uh, has more opacity or density and stability than thought. But they're both phenomenal events. One phenomenal event is like a, more like a cloud or incense smoke. The other phenomenal event at the feeling level is more like furniture. <laughs> it's more you know, like the tree in the yard. It's more objective. Yeah, it has more, right, mm -hmm. yeah. But they're both phenomenal events, meaning they're both perceptions. So you perceive a thought, and you perceive a sen bodily sensation. Mm -hmm. Another way of saying it is awareness of a thought, mm -hmm. and it's awareness of a bodily sensation. The awareness of the, the thought, sort of the content of the awareness in the, at the bodily feeling level, the image on the screen stays longer and more. It doesn't move as much as the image uh, of the thought on the screen of consciousness. But the screen is the one, the same screen. Mm -hmm. So they're both events, phenomenal events, world events. They're both mentation of a sort. One is more opaque and one is less opaque. But they're both. And the substance, like the substance of this perception, is a formless substance. So it's like when you are sleeping and you're having a night dream, and there is a, a pink elephant or a mountain, the substance of the mountain is a dream. Yeah, when you're, you're feeling in the dream that you are swimming in the, in the water and you're wet. Yeah? Mm -hmm. That feeling, that bodily feeling, is made out of dream. Mm -hmm. Meaning it's made out of thought sensation. It's, it's, made, out of, it's made out of consciousness. Mm -hmm. Because 
the reality of the perception or of the sensation of the dream, the reality of that sensation of being in the water swimming. It's not you swimming in the water. It's not the water. It's not you being wet. It's consciousness. In the same way, I'm using the night dream to the waking dream. In the same way, this perception, which is a perception of, uh, well, we're not swimming, so I, I cannot use the example of being wet, this, this, this experience of being seated on the couch. Is substance, is consciousness. It's substance, it's substance, it's a... You mean like, like this meeting here today? This perception. This, no, no, not, I'm not talking about a meeting today, I'm talking about this perception. This perception, yeah, you, you, there is a perception right now, yes? You mean what I'm seeing? Yes, this perception. Okay. This very perception. The substance of this perception. Like when you are dreaming, let's say you are dreaming, you are in bed dreaming, you are dreaming this perception. It's possible, isn't it? You could be, you could be in bed dreaming, for example, this perception arises and it changes, it is changing. Yeah? But it's, it's, there is a perception. Oh, right, there is a perception, yeah, like a movie image on the screen. Mm -hmm. The substance of this perception in, this, in the night dream, mm -hmm. the substance of the perception in the night, in the sleep, night sleep, is dream. The substance of the dream is consciousness. Right. That was being perceived. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Well, we're taking it a step further. <laughs> we start with, yes, you're right. I mean, we, we start with, there is a world that is, and there is a perceiver, and the perceiver perceives the world, or the images, the sensations, the thoughts, yes? Mm -hmm. So there is a perceiver, and the perceiver is consciousness. Yes, we start that way. That's, that's a very good way, because initially, before that, the impression was that there is a person, a me person, mm -hmm. that is perceiving the world. Mm -hmm. So now we realize, oh wait, there is, there, is no, there is no me person, there is consciousness. Why? Because consciousness is perceiving me as well, it's me as a, as a thought you know, thought of Mary, me as, for example, this hand. There is something that perceives this hand, so there is something that's perceiving me, <laughs> or the sensation, for example, a sensation of my belly. Right? We realize, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, there is a sensation in my belly, and that's me, but there is something that perceives the sensation, if, which is consciousness. So that's... A f that's Sort of now we moved from I am this person, this limited body mind that is perceiving the world. We've moved to I am consciousness, perceiving this body mind, and consciousness is is not a form. Mm -hmm. yeah? And there is the world out there. The next understanding is that what the substance of what is perceived mm -hmm. is consciousness itself. Mm -hmm. So as if consciousness projects itself as this image, projects itself as a thought of New York City, projects itself. Like, imagine, just metaphor, that consciousness is some sort of dancing molecules 
there is nowhere is it not. There are these dancing, dancing molecules everywhere. And it is dense, it just gets together and forms a galaxy. And then it gets together and forms a wall. It, yeah? Uh, just sort of using some imagery here. So the next phase of the exploration is to realize that the perception, the substance of the, this perception, meaning what you perceive right now, its substance is the consciousness perceiving, perceiving itself. It's it itself. dreams itself, yes. It's non-dual. Like in the dream, in the night dream, when you are swimming in the water, the, that impression of wetness and Moist, you know, being moist and all that, and the, the image of the or of the water is that dream is one with the dreamer. It's made out of you. It's made out of you, right? Yeah. So the the world, body, and mind what we refer to as the world body and, and mind, its substance is the consciousness that conceives it, creates it, and perceives it. And the consciousness is real and is the only reality and is not personal. It does not belong to a person. It is not contained in a person. It is not contained in any container. You could say that the person arises in it as an impression. In other words, the molecules of consciousness take on the form of persons take on the form of blood, fish, yes. I get what you're saying, but it's like when I leave, you know, I don't keep it. You never leave. <laughs> <laughs> you never leave. I know, but like when I'm waking up and I'm like, now what, what do I do? You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't wake up. You don't go to sleep. Body does. Well, when my body wakes up and I feel like I'm supposed to, you know. You're not supposed to nothing. Get rid of all this. I'm supposed to. I mean, I'm interrupted you, but <laughs> you're supposed to. There is no you're supposed to. I, I don't speaking. I'm not, never speak about any supposed to here. But I would like to just take this and keep it. And get Kick. more and more of it. You know, like more Oof. of it. Why do you want to take yourself? You are yourself. I mean, you're dividing the indivisible. You are indivisible. You are. You see, for, for you to take something, you have to become something. You have to sort of separate yourself from the whole. And then, then you perceive something that you want to take with you. But it's all imagined. The sep you know, why do you want to separate yourself from the whole? I mean, because if you, as soon as you separate yourself from the whole, you're going to feel that you, you need something. You need this. You, you, you feel a sense of lack. So why do you want to div divide yourself from the whole? I don't think of it like that. I guess that's what it is. But, but I'm, well, like, I feel free at this moment right now. 